So what's up guys? I'm kicking this video off right where I left it. I believe the last time I left this video was when I was doing the three different spot wheel types. But this is basically the removal of the bedside that I recorded last on. And all you're seeing here is using, like I said, my favorite grinding tool, which is the air belt sander. And I'm grinding down all my spot welds along the top side. I thought I recorded everything from like the removal to making the new holes on a new panel and doing all that other stuff, but I didn't. I actually just recorded up to the point where I just spot, spot welded the wheelhouse. So I didn't get all of it. I just got up to the point where I basically just put the new panel on, but I just don't want to show that. I have another bedside video that I recorded and that one I did record fully. I'll probably put that one up a little later so you guys can see the whole process. I have some other bedside videos as well, older ones that you guys can check out to kind of get an idea of like what goes down. But just stay tuned for that guys. And then here I decided to use my spot weld drill bit to cut these spot welds down. But later on in the video you're going to see that I couldn't actually have access to separate the panel here so I just cut a little I guess a little line down the panel here which made it way easier to remove and I just removed the little piece that was left afterwards Then I, be, then I started removing all the spot welds from the wheelhouse all around the wheel arch. And I decided to use my grind, my cutoff wheel here because I hadn't removed the tire. I didn't really have that much access for the belt sander. And it was a little awkward to try and get the belt sander into different positions. And I just thought this was a lot easier to use. So I just went ahead and used this. And I'm actually going to switch up the camera angle on you guys. I didn't do... A, Point of view I actually just propped up my camera and you guys are gonna see the difference different view still looks equally as cool <laughs> but yeah like I said I'm just grinding down the spot wells around the wheelhouse the wheel arch whatever you guys want to call it and yeah, I'm just doing that until I cut them all down. You know, sometimes it annoys me to use my uh, safety glasses because there's been parts where I've been using, when I've used the safety glasses and the sparks still manage to fly under my glasses somehow, which I think is pretty, pretty weird and pretty stupid at the same time. Because I have the protective gear on and everything, but it still, like, manages to get on. So I'm just like, what the hell? Then I begin by removing all the spot welds in between the bed and the cap corner. And this is kind of a tight fit, so you kind of have to be careful not to damage the cap corner. But I started off with my cutoff wheel and then I actually switched up to my belt sander. Um, you know, just to have the different options and work better around this tight gap. I 
I just went all along the back side of this. It's got a few spot wheels running down. And we have some bed stands, but one of them like is really fucked up and the tires are like non-existent and the other one was being used. They were both being used actually. So I had to remove it like this first. Usually I take them off most of the time and especially since I did some repair on the cab corner and they had to paint the cab corner, I remove them. But yeah, they, uh, they were all taken so I didn't have a choice basically. <laughs> Then back here I did some drilling because this is actually the bed and the bed, the bed side itself goes behind the bed so you have to drill some holes and you're probably going to have to plug these later, no not probably, you're going to have to mig weld these later on, plug them up. And then I go on to my not human being self and super fast I remove it. I separate my panels with my seam sealer buster and yeah, that's pretty much it right here. This is pretty much downhill from here. I do this all around where I grind it down the spot welds, where I drilled them out. And I'm just separating the panel ready for it to come off. But check it out, guys. Look how fast I am. Shit crazy, huh? <laughs> Then over here, most of the bed sides up here, like on the inside, the lip is always rolled forward. So I just went ahead and got my vice grip and I kind of made some room so I can get my seam seater buster or my panel separator in between them and just went ahead and started smashing through those. But this is where I was telling you guys where I couldn't, I didn't have access to remove this. So I just went ahead and did like a slit down the side. You'll see on my next frame here that I, where I cut it, which is here. I basically cut along the backside right there. And that little flap, I removed it later. And then I give you guys a bird's eye view and a point of view. And this is where the bedside comes off. This is pretty much it guys, the whole video here. This is what it looked like after I had put my vice grips and my self-tapping screws to hold up the panel in place. You know, it lined up nicely, it gap, the gaps were nice, everything was nice and flush. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, for sticking around. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Show the video some love, you know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys around for more.